But I mean, I, I wasn't so happy with, you, you seem kind of proud about, not proud, but it just wasn't, seemed wrong to you that you were dead naming somebody. I, I get it. You know, if it was a mistake, that's fine. No, it wasn't. It wasn't? <laughs> okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we're going to be reacting to Charlie's Cake, Smart Cheese Fragile Cup for Trans Students. Guys, let's get straight into this. Hello. Um, I had a statement to say you were banned on Twitter or whatever because you dead named somebody. I just wanted to say that two wrongs does not make a right. It's not right that you were deplatformed. I don't think anybody should be deplatformed for saying anything. I fully believe in freedom of speech. But I mean, I, I wasn't so happy with you. You seem kind of proud about not proud, but it just wasn't seemed wrong to you that you were dead naming somebody. I, I get it. You know, if it was a mistake, that's fine. No, it wasn't. But it wasn't? Okay. Well, okay. Then you're Whoa. proud of it. That does not make it right. I think as generations go on, we become more accepting to things. And I think that even if you don't like somebody, it's not a good idea to normalize dead naming. Yeah, so I think can you explain to our audience what is dead naming? You probably know it better than I do. is when... Um, somebody transitions and they choose a new name conforming to their gender so if their name was lisa before and they yeah. changed it to jack if you called them lisa before that or lisa after they transitioned that is dead naming what's wrong with that i think it's very wrong well that's the original I name have a lot of trans friends and if they were dead named it would be i mean shattering to them because it's something that is so personal shattering? to them what shattering Yes. Yes. It's, I mean, it's who they are now. I, people don't transition just for the hell of it, you know? What the fuck? <laughs> it's a very personal thing to them. True they though. don't do it to appeal to the other gender or whatnot. Yeah, so, but let's think about it. Isn't it part of their biography? Can you really erase history and act as if that wasn't no. your name for a while? For example, it was, at, it was another name than Rachel Levine. Well, why do names matter so much? I mean, it's what you want to be called. It's just a title for you. But it's part of your biography, right? It's a fact that a man who now thinks he's a woman had a family, got married, and then magically decided to no longer be a man. I was talking facts, so your problem well, would be with telling of a biography? Well, I mean, it's, it's not that, it's not as deep as you think. She it. comes it's back in the man. It's them now. And you, it's just being respectful. Oh, okay, but it's being respectful by not being able to act as if they were something that they weren't. Isn't their whole identity in being no longer what they were? So it no, shouldn't shatter it's them. Not their it should be identity. empower them. No. So then I, why do they call themselves trans if it's not their whole identity? Well, they don't. I. People don't go out saying, guess what? Uh, I'm trans. Yeah, they, they just do. just kind of exist. <laughs> mm, that's, that's Twitter. That's Twitter. I can guarantee you. And I TikTok went, and most campuses and. Well, the trans groups and the no. trans flag and the trans no. parade and I, the trans have, music no, no, no. and the trans stuff. People say they're trans all the time. If, if the change is not part of their identity, then why do they call themselves trans? Well, I mean, it's just a title. Everybody, like, our society is more, you know, we want titles for just about She didn't do that such a guy. I agree. So yeah. I don't accept the title and I should have a right not to accept it. Well, you should. Everybody has a right to be respected. They haven't done any wrong no, to you. No, you don't have a right to be respected. You have a right to speak. Yes. You have to earn respect in a decent society. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I want to fully understand what you mean, like... Yeah, so for example, I don't respect the Unabomber. Okay. That's an extreme example. Okay. I don't respect people that perform abortions. I don't respect people that medically mutilate children. Okay. And I don't respect someone that is taking Lupron and says they're a man all of a sudden and demands I comply. That's, that's not the way the world works. Respect I'm, must be earned. I think respect is just a give. Like it's, it's a base thing. It's not like I'm going to go into this room and say, I disrespect every single one of you because you don't believe what I believe or you're not presenting how I want. You know, I mean, well, OK, so what about my respect? Why was I kicked off Twitter? You said it's wrong, but you can all of a sudden see where your viewpoint quickly becomes. And we have to shut somebody up because you deserve respect. I mean, it's, I mean, honest to God, I'm not trying to like I'm kind of losing my thoughts a little bit. But I just want to put out there that I think it's just basic human respect. You know, 
it's, it's not that deep. People just, if they feel one way and they truly believe it, it's yeah. not just, oh, shit, I feel like being a, a boy now. It's not just a on the whim decision. It's something that's held inside. Them. Right. Well, hold on a second. But, but I, I just want to. I, I think you're being sincere in yes. this regard. Yes. That, I want to say it. So let's just take gender affirming care or whatever you might call it. Okay. Right. Yes. So affirming someone's mental delusion where they think they're a man or a woman. Why is that the appropriate line of treatment? No. For example, do we give liposuction to people that are anorexic? I mean, I think no, because we know better. We know it's going to harm them. and We love yes. that person. No, so I that's mean, not medicine. That would be torture. Yeah. And not everybody who decides to transition decides to change their genitalia or go through something completely irreversible. Right. That's true. Some do, though. Tens I of do, thousands. I, like, I, I have conflicted opinions on gender affirming okay. surgery um, because it's irreversible. And if it's a decision made too young of an age, then yeah. it's it's. It's not right to do it on children. No, that, that, that's fair. I appreciate the honesty. Yeah. I, I really mean that. And you should be encouraged. I wish more people were sane enough to say that. Mm -hmm. But let me kind of complete the point. A biography should not be eliminated because someone demands respect. For example, I can say that Muhammad Ali used to be called Cassius Clay. It's part of his life. And then he found Islam and he decided to be called something else. And all of a sudden you get this rancor and this uproar that somehow I'm being hateful and no longer worthy of a Twitter platform because I said a fact that Levine had a name and a family and was a man and then claims he's a woman. If all of a sudden history and facts can be erased, we are dangerously approaching a 1984 dystopian world control <laughs> scenario that I don't think any of us should entertain. Final thoughts? Okay, to wrap it up, my point was basically just, I think it's better to normalize just, or not normalize, but like n not put out that it's okay to do these types of things. I think it's just, general human respect. I think we just all need to become more accepting um, and we don't really need to, you know. Got it. And so my opinion is 180. We have clarity, not agreement. I'm not going to accept, accept mental delusions with force. Guys, to be honest, she, she said, she explained her point with so much respect and she, like she expressed this based on the fact that she felt it, like she knew her friend had felt this kind of thing and she was able to like express that point with respect like i love the fact that she's not coming at him she wants to listen to him she wants to hear his opinion like she wants to be educated but i don't think she did a lot of homework before coming to ask that question though because she was shaky at some point but like i love the conversation like but for me i feel transgender like i feel the trans community like i, I know that people who are born with a a female who is born with a male genitalia and you want to transition i feel it makes sense though for me, I feel it makes sense. Or let's say you have one with a major interior and you have a breast and you say, I don't want to be a full-time woman or I don't want to breast and be a man. Like, you can choose to do it and it kind of makes sense. But when you see a normally functioning human being that five years ago, he did not think of transitioning. But when he started hearing things like this and now he started feeling like, I feel like I'm a woman, like, Bro, like 10 years ago, this never existed and people were moving on with their life perfectly fine. But right now, more like a lot of people just want to change their gender. And I don't think it's something we should promote. I will say it. I don't think it's something we should promote. If you don't have any defect or anything wrong with your productive system and you just want to change because of how you feel. Like tomorrow you can feel like, I want to go back to my gender and it's too late because... Bro, the world is turning to something else, to be honest. Like, but I'll say the part of the world I am, I, I don't think it's like that yet. But guys, tell me what you think about this video. Then you should like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Best.